I'm here. It's Carrie from Stamp with CT. And with me in the craft room, as usual, is Dale. Hello. And Oliver the Crafty Pup. So we may be just a tiny bit late, uh, maybe a minute or so. But we will wait just a moment to see if anybody's able to join us. We hope you're having a great Wednesday. It's nice and cool outside here in Texas this morning. I think it said like 60, 68 maybe when I first woke up. So nice and crisp and fallish. So hope you are having a wonderful Wednesday. And we're going to spend a little bit of time crafting with you. So we're excited to have you with us. What you think, Dean? Oh, I'm glad you're with us. We are Good. going to be casing the catalog today. So we're just going to jump right in with our crafting. And then, of course, we'll have um, our weekly giveaway in just a moment. Um, up towards the end of the video. Not just a moment, but towards the end of the video. And then also have some um, exciting announcements. I think you probably know already about them, but just in case you don't. So today we are using a really fun suite of products and we just got these into the craft room. This was one of those suites that at first I thought I didn't really need. And then after seeing some projects online um, that Stampin' Up! demonstrators have been sharing, I just had to have it. And we're going to be using this in our bingo on the 7th of November. So we are having a virtual bingo class, a November, did I say 7th? Yes. My goodness, it's November 4th at 6 p.m. Central Time. So if you're interested in that, reach out and I can get you all the information. So this is called Merry Bold and Bright, and it is super cute as far as the color scheme and the images. And in this suite, you've got a stamp die bundle, some really cute little disc um, embellishments, and some ribbon, which I neglected to grab. But it's an iridescent ribbon. It's on that table, I bet, Dee, if you want to grab a bolt. The paper, we'll show you the paper swatch book. So, so cute. Some foil sheets that come in granny apple green and melon mambo. So just a really fun suite of products to make some non-traditional Christmas cards, some traditional Christmas cards, and I think this even goes over into birthday cards. I think you could make some adorable birthday cards for kids of all ages. So this is that iridescent ribbon, has some shine to it, really pretty. And then of course we've got the stamp die bundle, and so a lot of these images and dies coordinate but then you can also use the dies separately if you want to. And of course the stamp separately if you want to. This is a photopolymer stamp set, super cute. And then we are pulling in an embossing folder called Christmas Tidings. Let me look closer at it. Yeah, Christmas Tidings. So I'll bring that up towards the camera so you can see. I know with embossing folders, it doesn't always show up on camera, but it has lots of Christmassy words that emboss into your paper for that. And then these are the little embellishments and we'll use a couple of these today. So lots of colors here to choose from that coordinate with the paper. And here is the awesome Merry Bold and Bright paper. So you've got the Christmas lights. Did we use this last week? I'm trying to remember because I remember we talked about the big bulbs too. I don't remember. Maybe, we Maybe a couple weeks ago. Love that fall la la la. Super, super cute. And we actually have some mugs that are branded merchandise that are available with the same um, fall la 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 and then the, the light bulbs too. So we're doing something a little bit different than what we typically do as far as, um, let me have that catalog back please, Dee, as far as our project today because what we're doing is we're casing the catalog. So casing means copy and share with edits or copy and share everything. One of the great things about being a paper crafter is that we can find some inspiration either in the catalog, online, from a class that we've taken before, and we can recreate the project and that is perfectly fine to do that. So I really was drawn to this cute little project right here and that's the one that we're recreating today. 
So the thing that we don't usually do is completely cover the card base with designer series paper. So we're gonna do something a little bit different there. Part of the reason I don't do that is because of the measurements. I'm just trying to get the most out of my designer series paper. But sometimes you need to, to break the rules, don't you? Sure. So we have a thick basic white card base and it is 11 by four and a quarter scored at five and a half. So let me just burnish this fold line really good. And our first project, we're going for a very similar look to what was in the catalog. So let me grab our liquid glue. I think it's okay for me to go ahead and adhere this down, don't you? Yep. And we'll put our dot, dot, not a lot in our corners and our squiggle in the middle to glue this layer down. And again, it's going to completely cover up the card base. So you won't see any of the white. And this is Poppy Parade in Melon Mambo, right? Yes. Not what I would traditionally think of as a Christmas card so far. So then we have been using a good bit of vellum, you guys, and that's what's in this project um, that's in the catalog. It's just a little piece of vellum. It gives a little bit of a break from that um, pretty bright background. And so we've got that, and then we've got a piece of basic white cardstock that is embossed with that embossing folder. So I may not have exactly cut our pieces the way that they're cut in the catalog, but we were happy with how this was gonna look. So I think what we'll do is do our little Christmas tree first, and then we'll build everything on the card front. Okay, so Dale has already done our stamping for us, and he went ahead and cut the pieces out. So we've got lots of different sayings here that we're going to piece together to make the tree. So let's get all of this lined up. And the very first thing we need down at the bottom, we've got it on a glue dot, is our little tree stand or tree stem, not stem, trunk. Trunk. Tree trunk. Get our tree trunk. And we went with just a little piece of pool party cardstock. That's what we're gonna use. And I'm trying to think, Dee, if we wanna go all the way to the bottom, you think? No. That's not really in the center, is it? I think that's better, but just kinda using my fingers to measure. You like yeah, that? I like that. <laughs> it's a wonky tree anyway. It is a wonky tree. It's so cute. So we're just going to put these pieces Make sure I get them in the right order. What? You had it right. This, this one was Christmas. Okay. Our clock is way off, isn't it? Yeah. I'm missing a piece there. So we'll kind of have to decide our placement. Because we want to put our star on, too. So that's actually pretty good, isn't it? Yep. Want some mini dimensionals to put that down with? Oh, that's a good idea. I was going to just glue it down. What do you think? Uh, let's pop it up. <laughs> yeah, what am, I, what am I talking about, right? What is all that silly? Okay, well, how about if I put some mini dimensionals on there, and I'll let you pop them on. Okay. The only thing with mini dimensionals, I have a little bit harder time getting the backings off. So, if you may have you um, put them down. I'll pop them Use off. your trick with your take your pick tool. So I'm going to put four. Okay. On this longest piece, and so this is just a little bit futzy. So that's part of the reason why we did the stamping ahead of time because we don't want to keep you here all day. We hope that you're going to have some time to craft today. Right? Absolutely. I guess I should really glue that, that stem. Why am I calling that a stem? No clue. Should really probably glue down the trunk first. You want to do that? Sure. Let's already set a glue dog on. Oh, right. Boy, I'm just not firing on all cylinders this morning, am I? 
Not enough coffee. And I've had my coffee, but I think I might need another cup. We'll just get this all layered up. Where'd I put the A? Here, A. So, you know, if you're ever stuck for what to do with a project or you just don't really seem to have your crafting mojo going, you can always turn to the catalog. There's hundreds of samples in the catalog that can help you out and get that creativity going. I think you need more space in between those. Don't you? Yeah, I've probably, I probably got this one down a little bit mm -hmm, too far. I think so. I figured that he would want it perfectly spaced apart and not wonky. I was a little get, bit concerned about that, but I'm glad you like it wonky, too. I think it's really cute and whimsical. What's the matter? I just, I got it glued down a little bit solid. So we're going to stick with that? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. That's fine. No, okay. uh, the reason I don't generally do uh, all the super uh, tight and close spacing and all mm -hmm. is because if you make a little mistake, it shows up. Yeah. And so... Oh, that's going to turn out perfectly, isn't it? Can I? Sure. We have cut out a star. Is that a dimensional back? Yes. It sure is, isn't it? Yes, it is. Crazy little dimensional back. Now I lost him. But there we go. Is it because the, the, if you're not exactly right, then your eye catches it. Mm -hmm. And then when it's all wonky, nobody can tell yes. what you're... I'm a wonky kind of person because I'm never going to get that exactly straight. So we just want that vellum to kind of peek out from behind there. I think that's really, really cute. So we'll add a little bit of liquid glue more towards the center of this piece of vellum. Because you know, that's not gonna show. I think that looks good. Yeah. And then we're able to put this over it. There you go. I think that works pretty good. And we'll put a little bit of glue on this. And I'm gonna go a little bit heavier with the glue since this piece is embossed. I didn't really pay attention to if I had the words up right side up, do we? Yeah. Awesome. And then we'll just layer that on. What do you think? Beautiful. Now you want to grab some embellishments to Beautiful. pop on a couple. Oh, I think you should do that. A couple embellishments. Maybe one up here on the vellum. What color are you going to go with? Uh, we'll go with this little granny apple green guy. Okay. Ooh. So those are little discs, and they are super flat, so perfect if you're mailing cards, which that's what we need to be doing, right? right. Creating them and mailing them. And then, uh, how about one of these? And what color? That's uh, the Melon Mambo color. Mm, yeah, that would be cute. And maybe one more. And we'll put a little blue one down here by the, by the stem. Okay, the stem. <laughs> the tree trunk. Okay, so that is our version of the project from the catalog. You want to bring the catalog back in, Dee? And we're going to make one more. It looks almost exactly like it. You think so? Look at that. It looks pretty cute. It's a very cute little card. I like this. And this is really something that's very much my style. Um, just fun, whimsical, wonky. Yep. My style is wonky. So now we're going to make our version of it. So in this suite of products, there is also some foil sheets, I told you. And I'm not gonna pull them out because with our lighting, that might, um, that might sear your retinas this morning. So we're going to um, just show you the little strips that we're using. But foil sheets are lots of fun when you're just adding a little bit of accent to something. So again, we've got our card base that is 11 by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. We've again got the same piece of the Melon Mambo and, ooh, that's not right. It's okay. You think it is? Yeah. 
Uh, I didn't I didn't cut that properly or the card base is not cut properly. Let's double check See how wide the card base is Another opportunity to fix something wrong, huh? That's the problem the card base is not cut right. So let's do that real quick Get that card base cut wouldn't go in the envelope. Mm-mm. It wouldn't good call. Isn't that funny how you just know when something is not exactly right? So the paper was cut right, the card base wasn't, but that was an easy, easy fix. So now we're ready to adhere our DSP on. That's what I get for cutting while I'm tired, right? <laughs> yep. So we'll just pop that on the front. And again, not something we typically do because if you cut your DSP at four inches, across a 12 inch sheet of DSP, you're gonna get more card fronts, but this is cute, I like this. Okay, so now we have our piece of vellum. You wanna bring it in, D? Sure. And then we again have our piece, so we're gonna do that same thing with the vellum. We have our piece of basic white. I'm gonna move that out of the way. We have our piece of basic white that has our embossing, and I'm hoping that'll show up a little bit. It looks really cute. And then we're gonna bring in some foil sheet pieces to be our tree. And what did I do with those dimensionals? Did I yeah. give them to you? Yeah, you okay, awesome. Up. Put all that right there. Perfect. So what we did was we cut some pieces. We started at two and a half inches, and then we went down oh, to, grab two of them right oh, did I? Then we went down to two inches, one and a half, what's the math? One. One. And then one half. <laughs> and one half. Oh my goodness. More coffee, please. I don't think I have them in the right order, do I? So we're going to just make a cute little tree that way. What? That out of order? No, but I'm no. going to put some dimensionals on there for Dale. We want to go ahead and get our trunk. Sure. And this time, D, we do need to maybe start at the top with the star and work down because we want a little bit more room down at the bottom. Okay. Remember for our sentiment? Well, then let's wait till the end to put the trunk on. Okay. So we'll start with the, the star. We'll start with the star. And then there's your top where the A was on our first project. That's your half inch piece. Let's put him over here. Okay. And then let me find the one inch piece. Is this one right here? Okay. And I'll put the dimensionals on it for you. Don't you love that I am helping? I love that. I'm glad you're helping. Now we do have a tip video that we'll be filming later on that we'll release on YouTube on Friday. So be sure to check our YouTube channel Turn Friday for that. Channel. Yeah, I got them on there. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it flipped over. We did reach 400 subscribers on YouTube. So thanks y'all. You can find us over there at Stamp with CT or Carrie Todd is my channel there. But thanks for popping over there and subscribing. So now we have 400 subscribers. So I think our next, we're on the road now to 450. What do you think? That'd probably be our next goal is to try to get 450 subscribers. And then... Do those things to help us out. Yeah, hit the... Hit the like button, subscribe, or follow. We really do appreciate it. Because we are looking, always looking for new friends to craft with. I'm struggling over here with the dimensional, sorry. Go hand it to me. I'll take the box off. Okay. I'll let you do that. Those dimensionals are just so tiny. But they're working perfectly, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So this is a more traditional, even though it's non-traditional colors, it's a little bit more traditional Christmas card, but I think it's still gonna be really, really cute. This one, I may have them over too close to the edge. We'll see what you think. Okay. We're just building our little tree with strips of paper. Strips of shiny paper. You can't go wrong there. Well, shiny is our favorite color, right? Mm-hmm. You know it. Let's 
So Dale's putting his dimensional max in the trash, and I've just got a stack over here. They're going to end up in the floor, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> That's what crafting is all about. Again, I may have gotten that one too far over. Let you see what you think. Okay. So I think that is a cute, cute little tree. And then we'll be able to put the trunk on. And you could do that with designer series paper, cardstock. You could emboss the cardstock. Ooh. Wouldn't that be cute? That would be very cute. Let's see this one right here. Okay. Our trunk. Our trunk. And I just used a tiny little scrap of DSP to be our trunk. Okay. And so and now let's about cinnamon. Okay, we've got to get our placement oh, no, here. Placement. Let's do that. Let's get our placement on our card. I'm getting ahead of things. Huh? Mm -hmm. We just get too excited. So I think that's perfect. It's going to leave us a little room. So let's put some glue here again like we did the last time. To put our vellum piece on. And then we've got room to put this piece on. And again, a little bit more glue than usual because we've got the embossing, or a lot more glue. Now, that one flows even in the cold. Mm -hmm. That's the one we opened in the summer and it just went. <laughs> How's that? That looks good. Is that good? Or do I need to come up a little no. bit? How's the sentiment going to, is that going to work? Yeah. So, we've got a sentiment, too, that we've already cut out. We'll pop it up. Do I have regular dimensionals over there? If not, I can grab some. So this is actually cut out. It's a sentiment from this cute little stamp set, but it's cut out from um, using one of those nested essentials dies. I think we'll just put two on there. Okay. And we'll bring that stamp set back in in just a second so they can see the sentiments are just really, really cute. Oh, I tell you what you were gonna do. What's that? I'm gonna drop this down just a little bit more. Drop it down, why? So it covers that little corner up there. Okay. Embellishments. Oh, we embellishments. need some embellishments. Um, what were we gonna do? We were gonna put a deal in the back of it, so cause Santa was here to make it into a gift card. Holder. Oh, right. That paper is still right there. We can still do it. Oh, we, we got to have, well, no, I'll tell you what. We can still do it. I, I'm going to use these, these that are a little bit closer to, um, to what? Like, to an actual red color. Okay. To kind of make it look like, uh, uh, bulbs on the tree. Oh, okay. So you're gonna go a little crazy with them? Oh, absolutely. I know this lady, but we can get some more. Just place another order. <laughs> We've only placed how many orders this week? Uh. So if you need any supplies to create projects, definitely pop over to stampwithct.stampitup.net. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. And it's so shiny. So super cute. So do you want to grab a little piece of that designer series paper and we'll show them what we were talking about? All we really need, let me move those out of the way just a bit, is yeah. just a little piece of that designer series paper. Yeah. All right. And what we're going to do, let's see if this is four inches. No, we want it four and a quarter, don't we? We want it four and a quarter, so that's where we're at. And then we're just going to come in, hmm, maybe about two. That'd be good. So you can really make any card into a gift card holder. So we thought, that's right, I forgot that we talked about that. Because it said Santa was here, wouldn't it be fun if you tucked a little bit of cash or a gift card inside? So all we're gonna do, you see that that's four and a quarter by two. We're gonna come in here and make a little pocket. So you wanna use liquid glue or you want sure. me to grab some? So we'll, what we'll do is come around the sides and the bottom, just at the very edge. 
with some liquid glue to make our pocket and adhere that on so that leaves that open at the top and that way we can make our little pocket for a gift card holder and you can do that turn any card into a gift card holder with that really easy little tip so now when you put some money in there for me D <laughs> Santa really will have been here because we've got our gift card holder as well. So I like them. They turned out really cute. Okay, let's talk a little bit about our announcements. We've got a couple. First up, something super exciting, and this does end today, is free shipping. So on any orders of $75 or more, Stampin' Up! is offering free shipping. And that's been going on for three days now. Today's the third day. So very exciting news. Love it when Stampin' Up! does that. Something I want to point out is if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, this is a fabulous time to purchase either a 6 or 12 month prepaid subscription and not pay the shipping on your Paper Pumpkin subscription. You save some money. Get a little bit of a discount when you do the 6 and 12 months. And so to save the shipping on top of that, fabulous deal. And then we also have an incredible joining special going on right now. So it's our 35th year as a company with Stampin' Up! And they are offering either pay 35% less for the starter kit, which makes it $64.35. And you get to choose $125 worth of product in your starter kit. You get a free paper pumpkin, free shipping. You just pay the tax. So that's anything that you want to choose up to $125. Or you can get 35% more product. So you get to choose $168.75 worth of product and pay just $99 plus tax. Again, free shipping, free paper pumpkin included. And one of the best deals of this joining special is that you also get free registration to the Stampin' Up! virtual onstage event the 11th of November. And it's going to be a big party and celebration of our 35 years as a company. And you get that free, so that's a $77 value. Plus, you get to be part of our Super Inspired Stampers team. You get a 20% discount. It's just such a great deal, and we would love to have you join us. And just try it out. And if you like being a demonstrator, you can stick around. And if you don't, which I don't know why you wouldn't, but if you don't like it, then you can go back to being a customer. That's just fine. So let me know if you have any questions about that. Um, we would love to have you be part of our team and part of the Stampin' Up! family. Okay, giveaway. Last week we had a package of dimensionals. And to be entered for the giveaway, all you have to do is leave a comment give the thumbs up go ahead and hit that heart or thumbs up right now for me if you haven't already i would appreciate that it lets those social media platforms know that you like the video and other people need to see it so sharon patillo you are the winner of our stampin dimensionals from last week and then this week we have a package of the really cute embellishments those are some of the colors um that's new colors that stampin up came out with in the new um, annual catalog back in May. So these are really fun uh, embellishments. So that's our prize for this week. Leave those comments. You can share the video if you would like to. All of that really helps us. So we love being able to do a little giveaway each week. I think that's it, isn't it? I believe so. Okay, don't forget, we're gonna be using this suite of products for bingo November the 4th. It's on Zoom, so anybody Anywhere in the U.S. can join us to play bingo, and we absolutely have a blast. We would love to have you join us for that, too. Okay, guys, we will see you again next week, and we appreciate you stopping by to craft with us for a few minutes.